All right, so wrapping up the wiring system. This is the original C101 plug that came with the original Pontiac. And I have mapped out all the pins and pages of where the details are. Which are all back here. Yeah. So these were all wiring and fuse boxes. So I'm going to match up that plug, which is now gone, which went to this computer. And these are cables that are no longer used for cruise control and various other Pontiac aerospeed controls, ride control, all kinds of things. The computer used to control that I won't need controlled any longer. So that's the computer and now I need to tidy up this wire bundle. I had to extend these three wires. Um, one is ignition. One goes to the EGR valve. Uh, another one goes to the fuel injectors. And another pink feed line here, another pink feed line here. Red always on hot. Brown transmission power. So I'm going to be building the fuse box back here in this corner right behind where the computer is going to sit and then we have our sensor wires white stack uh, light green was I think water temp um, all of them been labeled based on what pin they were in the C101 port plug these are grounds so these will need to be bundled and grounded. Um, there's a loop back going to the EGR and such. So all this needs to be cleaned up, bundled up, and then these are going to be terminated into the fuse block. The fuse block is somewhere. Yeah. This fuse box is what will be going into the back. Anyways, I won't open it right now. You'll see it shortly. So this is the fuse box out of the Pontiac Bonneville SSEI. And so I'm going to use this to build the fuse box for this car. So I've got 12 fuses, the 12 circuits up front. Um, this is going to be the horn. This is going to be the wiper, or this one, because it's got five pins versus four. I need to use it for wiper, do the wiper part. That is cabled here. So this is the wiring harness I built for the, head, the wiper switch. And it needs um, special parking re setup because it's an old Triumph Lucas. These are turn signals. So I've gotten these bundled up. So the fronts blink. I'm sorry, the rears blink. The fronts do not, because they're not installed yet. But I just did, I did receive those in the mail. Ordered my signals. That's these here. So I've got LED flashers up front. High and low, ground. White for running lights, red for blinker. So I'm going to attach these to the front for now until I redo the headlight buckets. Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, I've got to get the wiring figured out. And I've got the blinkers working. I figured out the ignition switch. And now it's just a matter of cleaning it up, tying it up, 
installing fuse blocks, running wires, and then figure out where the battery box goes. All right, more to come soon. All right, so fuse box has been stripped. All the wires are out of it. These are the bundled wires that were in it. Relays, relay wires, fuse wires. Fuses are over there. So now I gotta start building out this diagram. So, PCM comes from the rear. It's 20 amp circuit. Goes G7, so I gotta create that. That's my first one. That's the red wire. That feeds this CPU all the time. This red wire. So it is going to run down the side here, up to the fuse box. That's the first step. And then everything else builds off of that. So I have my front fuse box I still need to build there, obviously. And my rear fuse box is going to feed off of these wires here, feeding the different ignition and EGR and fuel injectors, etc. And then ground leads here and sending unit wires here, which I may run some new sending units because my gauges are more, have more, I have more gauges. So more sending units than this car originally came with. So that's it. Next step, building the fuse box. Oh my, 